Phone numbers suck. They just do. They're hard to get compared to something like email. They're expensive. Most people only get one. And these issues just make them a very unique data point. A phone number is one of the most invasive data points used against us by companies. So phone numbers suck. However, I recently stumbled on a really cool service that can dramatically make this better. I think you're all gonna like this one a lot. Today's video is self-sponsored by ourselves. I wanted to share our Patreon, which allows you to directly support us and receive exclusive perks in the process. We just recently revamped things and it's how you can show up in our video outros, our website, and some other fun perks. We're dedicated to spreading privacy to the masses and we'd be honored to have you join us and support us in that mission. Be a part of our Patreon at patreon.com slash techlore. First, this is our video. Silent Link doesn't even know we're making it. Silent Link doesn't have the most polished website, but they have pretty steep promises that made me instantly skeptical. Anonymous eSIM being the main one with no information required at all, not even an email. For those who haven't been following phone news, these little SIM cards are being replaced by fully digital alternatives called eSIMs, which activate with a carrier through a QR code. The promise of an anonymous eSIM though is quite impressive considering these are actual numbers, not VOIP like my pseudo or Google Voice, which we'll cover towards the end of this video. So the claim here by Silent.link is they'll give you a phone number and data plan, almost no different than what you'd get from a carrier, but with zero information required. For payment, they take Bitcoin. Even though Bitcoin has privacy issues, they do accept Lightning, which improves those issues a little bit, and you can always use a shifting service with Monero, though I do wish they just supported Monero natively. They have an FAQ, a Twitter, a Telegram, and that's kind of about it. I can't say I felt comfortable diving into this service, but I did it anyway. And here's how it went. First, I wanted an actual number, so I selected the US identity options. This includes a standard, real phone number you can use for texting, calls, and even data. After that went through and they confirmed a transaction, which took less than a minute, I was redirected to an order page. And that's the ordering process. The order page you need to bookmark, as the link is all of your information, so you need to keep the link safe. Maybe that's why they call it silent link. On this order page, there are setup instructions. You can actually use an eSIM alongside your normal SIM card, so you can use two numbers and data plans on the same device. This is referred to as dual SIM. I expected this to be a hassle, especially on a custom ROM like Calyx OS, and I couldn't have been more wrong. I went into settings, clicked add carrier, set up the eSIM with the QR code, it activated automatically in just a couple minutes. That was it. I tried calling the number on the order page and the phone rang with a little notice that it was coming in from Silent Link. I pulled up Signal and Signal now added an option for the new SMS provider. It was all that simple. I gotta give massive props to Android for how well it handles dual SIM. I was actually so happy with this result that I will be using this to replace my current VOIP solution, which raises the question, how does this compare to VOIP services like Google Voice, MySudo, and Hated Hushed? First and most notably, Silent Link is giving you a real phone number. It's not uncommon for services online like Facebook to recognize Google Voice and my pseudo numbers as virtual numbers and prevent their use. Second, these services normally require accounts and standard information about you, like your email and payment details. Third, the clients are a mixed bag. Getting Google Voice to work on a de-Google device, for example, is likely a challenge. Fourth, you have to use those clients. You can't choose the SMS app or phone app, just whatever they give you. A surprise to Android users and probably the norm for iOS users. And finally, Silent Link also offers data, not just a phone number. So while Silent Link can replace your VOIP service, it's honestly more of a full out carrier replacement than strictly a VOIP replacement. Now, issues. There are issues and here they are. My biggest issue is trust. Silent Link does detail quite a bit in their FAQ and they're responsive on Twitter, but who are these guys? And I'm not saying this in an accusatory way like people like to frequently do, but I genuinely have nothing to work off of here. No owners, no team members, no team history or information, no future plans. It really is a massive black box. So if you're Silent Link, that's my main criticism for you. Why should we trust you more than our normal carriers to handle our data? Second, it's US only, kind of. They do have international data plans, but their phone number identities are currently US only identities. 
What I'm not clear about is what this process looks like or if it's even possible for international people who want a US number. I don't know if this works. I don't know if international websites will even take US numbers and if it's useful. I just don't know. So if anyone has information on this, definitely leave a comment below. It's not something I can very easily test here when I'm in the US. Third, supplies are semi-limited, though it seems every time something sells out, they restock pretty quickly. Fourth, it requires eSIM. That's like the whole point of this. Um, they do show supported devices on their website, but yes, you do need a phone that supports eSIM. Fifth, big one, no outbound phone calls. This means you can't call someone else using this service. They have to call you. This alone might be the reason why many of you won't be able to switch to this as your main provider. Services like Signal are always an option via Wi-Fi or data, but there are no standard outgoing phone calls through Silent Link. Before recapping Silent Link, I wanted to share again that we have an amazing Patreon community for those of you who believe in our work and want to give back. We have some awesome perks for you there, and every bit of support seriously helps us out and keeps us producing this content for free. Thank you to all our current and future patrons. And that was my Silent Link recap. Overall, I think it's a massive, massive, massive step forward from VOIP services like Google Voice, and especially Hushed, in almost every way. It's not ready for me to be my main carrier, but it does work and it does deliver on its promises, at least for now. Services like this are not easy to come by, so check out their website in the description. They're also on Twitter and Telegram, and just have fun. What do you think? Leave your comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts, and if any of you have been able to test out this service for yourself, or if you have maybe another alternative to it. Today I wanted to shout out three of our anonymous allies on Patreon, Prometheus, Mitchell, and Justin. Thank you guys so much for your support. It helps us a lot. Really, like I can't say thank you enough. We'll be shouting out more anonymous allies in future videos. Thank you for everyone watching, and we'll see you next time on TechLore.